This function is the absolute value of x. f of x is the absolute value of x. The absolute value is signified by those vertical bars. The absolute value just outputs the magnitude of the number. And when I say that, it essentially just drops the negative. That's because this function is defined as a piecewise function. It just outputs the value of x if x is already positive, if x is greater than or equal to zero. And it outputs negative x if x is less than zero, if x is negative. What does this mean? Well, if you think, if I plug in something greater than or equal to zero like three, the output would just be three. It just is itself. But if I input negative three, negative three is less than zero, so I negate this. And negative negative three is positive three. So the absolute value essentially just takes off the negative of anything. Here's the graph of the absolute value of x. It looks like a v, and these lines are slope one. You'll see it makes this kind of corner at the origin. That's because the absolute value of zero is zero. And if you imagine this line, if you just made the regular line through the origin, that line would be y equals x. If you think about what the absolute value of that would be, the absolute value just makes negative things positive. So this side of the line is just the same, it's just the piece y equals x. But the part that would be negative would be made positive, it would be reflected up. That's why we're getting this v shape. That's the graph of the absolute value of x, and that's the introduction to the absolute value function. I hope you learned something, and I hope you have a great day.